find the laspers partially and the fishes index number for the year 2015 with the base year 2014 using the following information here different items are given and the unit this column rows the most important role in this question when they ask you this lespers partially and the fishes this column the unit should be denote as a one unit and the all the row the information of the column which is given in the question it should be equal as you can see there is no different changes all are in the one kg they have given so here we are not going to make any changes but you will can i'll show you how it has to be done in question number four so let's just write down this information in the solution for now as the unit is equal we are just going to take the amount the amount which is written inside we are just going to take the number same as you can see i have prepared the table that is 2014 and 15 i'm just going to write down the information over here the 2014 the quantity will be our q0 and the price of the base year will be our p0 and the current year uh, quantity will have a Q1 and price will be P1. So I just write down this. As there is a no changes in the unit, I just wrote down all the information which is given in the question, same as it is. Now as per the question here, they told us to find out Lespers, Parsley and the Fishers. Now as you can see, the last Lespers formula is Sigma P1 Q0, Sigma P0 Q0 multiplied by 100. Here I just kept the column as it is as shown in the formula p1 q0 as the first p0 q0 at the second the second formula will be the partially which is the formula is sigma p1 q1 divided by sigma p0 q1 so sigma p1 uh, sorry not don't write sigma here this is for the total so p1 q1 here and p0 q1 is over here now for this information you just have to get the multiplication of the column as you can see it is a p1 q0 p1 Q0. This two column will get multiplied. That is 20 into 18. Here you will get 360. Next, 10 multiplied by 31.25. Here you will get 312.5. 29.50 multiplied by 10. It would be 2950. 30 into 60, 180. 25 into 15. That is 375. 28.80 multiplied by 18. Here you will get 508.18.4. Get the total. That is R. Sigma P1 Q0 is 2040.9. Moving to the next column P0 Q0. Now for this, here you will multiply. P0 and Q0, the base here both will get multiplied. 20 into 15, that is 300. Next, 20 into 10, 200. 26.15 multiplied by 10, that is 265. 24.80 multiplied by 6, that is 148.8. 21.25 multiplied by 15, 318.75. 21 multiplied by 18, 378, that's it. Let's make a total as I don't have a space right now. So I'm just going to write down here 1610.55. That's our sigma P0 Q0. Next is P1 Q1. Now here we'll multiply this two column. That is 30 into 18. Here we'll get 540. 15 multiplied by 31.25, 468.75, next 15 multiplied by 29.50, here we get 442.5, 8 multiplied by 30, here we get 240, 25 multiplied by 25, that is 625. 30 multiplied by 28.80 that is 864 and here we get the total 3180.25 next is p0 q1 that is p0 and q1 will get multiplied 15 into 30 that is 450 next 20 into 10 
that is 200 26.15 into 10 okay that's 20 into 15 300 26.15 multiplied by 15 that is 397.5 next is 24.80 multiplied by 8 that is 198.40 next is 21.25 multiplied by 25 that is 531.25 30 multiplied by 21 that is 630 and here we get the total 2507.15 after preparing table we'll just take the information into the formula like uh, here sigma p1 q0 that is 2040.9 and sigma p0 q0 that is 1610.55 multiply by 100 get them divide here you will get 1.2672 into 100 here we get 126.72 of the last person next is partially for this we will take 3180.25 25 2507.15 into 100 get them divide here you will get 1.2685 multiplied by 100 and here we get 126.85 after getting less present partially the fish is just we have to take the answer from the last place that is 126.7 here you will here you 1774.42 kind of root kind of root and and remove the root get get 126.26.28 this is how we'll come question number four find the lespers partially and the fishers index number for the year 2015 with the base year 2014 using the following information here the different items are given unit price and quantity for the year 2014 and 15 as I told you in the unit, a unit should be denoted as a one unit. As you can see, it is not in the one unit. They have given, in the question it is given 20 kg. Now here we have to change it into the 1 kg. And the price which is given, that is for the 20 kg. We have to find out for 1 kg how much. That has to be written. And in quantity, it is already given in the kg. So there would be no changes in the quantity. So let's start with the one by one in the information but before we start this I just want to show you because this question is going to come for the five marks here one kg means a thousand grams one quintal means a hundred kg one tons means a thousand kg and one dozen that is in 12 pieces this you will clearly understand when we will start with the solution I start with the items never write for such question never write the information beforehand for this you have to write down in the one single unit as in the question it is given 20 units here we are going to find out for 1 kg it is how much now here for 20 kgs here the price is showing 80 we are going to find out for 1 kg it is how much if I show you in the equation it would be something like this for 20 kg here 80 price for 1 kg it should be how much so 1 multiply it's a cross multiplication 1 multiply by 80 divide by 20 here you will get answer 4 means for 1 kg price of in 2014 is 4 this is how it has to be go or if you want to go directly you just divide 120 with 20 kgs you will find 6 hope you understand this equation this is how I found this and for the quantity it is already given in the kg so we can write down directly this number that is 5 and 7 moving to the next information B 
this is given in 1 kg so we can take the price directly if we are making any changes in the unit we have to make a change in the price as well but here you can see the kg is given in 1 so we can take the number directly from the price that is 20 and 24 first we'll write down kg 20 and 24 in price let's see for the quantity here you can see the quantity is given in grams now if I show you this calculation again if we find out in the cross multiplication it would be for 2000 for 1000 grams it's 1 kg I want to find out for 2000 grams it would be how much kg because I want in kg so if I make a cross multiplication 2400 into 1 divided by 1000 here I get 2.4 kg so that is what the quantity 2.4 and the next for 4000 if I just divide with a thousand if you don't want to go with such a big long calculation you just divide with a thousand here you will get 4 hope you all are understanding how it is going next is quintal now here they have given information in quintal which is the price is 2000 and 2800 and quantity is given in kg here the first information the unit should be one single unit and in the row the information should be equal here in the unit they have given quintal and in the information the price is of quintal and the kg is in the quantity try to convert all in kg so here I am going to make a change in kg for quantity I just write down this 10 and 15 directly in the row 10 and 15 in kg now if I want to convert it into the kg for the quintal here I have given information it should be uh, 1 quintal means 100 kg so just divide with 100 you will get the correct answer that is 20 and 28 so here I am turning all the information in kg next is dozen now dozen means 12 pieces and here you can see here it is given in 30 pieces in 35 pieces but here they have given the price of dozen now dozen means a 12 pieces if I want to make it change in the unit I want it to convert it into the one thing equal information in a row just divide 48 with 12 you will get the price of dozen that is here I am just going to change information in pieces so here if I divide 48 divide by 12 I get the answer 4 72 divided by 12 here we get the answer 6 and quantity you can see it is already given in pieces so I can write down directly 30 and 35 so this is what the important process to solve this Laspers partially and Fisher's because once if no change is made in the unit the whole answer will be wrong so first main important thing is to make a changes in unit the unit should be in the one unit the information should be in the one unit and in a row it should be equal here I made the changes as you can see the price of 2014 obviously will be the base year that is P0 and 2015 will be P1 for quantity 2014 it would be base year Q0 and for 2015 the quantity uh, quantity of 2015 will be the current year now here we will write down the formula of the Laspers partially and Fisher's and as per this I will just ready with the columns here the formulas are ready Laspers index number partially and Fisher's now as per the information here first we will uh, multiply P1 with Q0 that is this two column the answer 6 into 5 30 24.2.4 that is 57.6 28 into 10 280 6 into 30 that is 180 the total is 547.6 next is p0 q0 that is 4 into 5 20 20 into 2.4 that is 48 20 into 10 200 4 into 30 120 
here the total is 388 next is p1 q1 that is p1 will multiply with q1 that is 6 into 7 here we get 42 24 into 4 96 28 into 15 420 6 into 35 that is 210 and the total is 768 last one is the p0 q1 that is p0 get multiplied with q1 4 7s are 28 20 into 4 80 20 into 15 300 4 into 35 that is 140 and here is the answer 548 i just put the information in formula here we get 1.4113 into 100 and here 141.13 and if we calculate here we get 1.4015 into 100 and the answer is 140.15 we'll take this information in fishers that is 141.13 this one multiply by 140.15 we get them multiply here we get 19779.3695 remove the root you will get 140.64 here we completed the fourth one let's move to the next